Good morning, YouTube. Matt M. Roy back again. Back to another beautiful uh, Wednesday, Virginia afternoon. It's actually almost a quarter to one now. Getting kind of a late start. You guys probably wondering where I've been. Well, unfortunately, I've gotten another cold. Yep, been a little bit under the weather, so that's why I haven't made a video in a few days. But I want to give you guys at least a quick vlog today. May not be that long, but we'll kind of see what happens. Um, right now, I'm actually starting to feel a little bit better. I've had a couple of cups of coffee. A little bit of cold medicine. I'm about to take some Robitussin here, so I'm starting to feel a little bit better, at least enough to uh, make the video. Um, basically, I want to show what I've been doing. I've decided to start making a lot of homemade bread. Um, if you guys follow any of the blogs on Pinterest, um, basically they're saying how bad store-bought bread is, and we're talking about any type of store bar bread. It could be like white bread, even in this case, some of these like English muffins. If you read the ingredients in these things, there are so many different preservatives in here. And it even specifically says preservatives such as salt, maltodextrin, calcium sulfate, vinegar, potassium, all this stuff that is not good for your body. This is the stuff that bloats you up, makes you just feel kind of blah all day. So what I'm doing now is starting to make some homemade bread. I'll bring you over here and show you exactly yeah, what I'm doing. For those of you who have never seen any of these before, these are homemade bread machines. Um, I actually own two of them. The first one here is the Breadman Plus. This is a two pound, this makes a two pound loaf. The one over here is the well built. This is the one that I actually prefer, but this unfortunately only makes a one pound loaf. The main reason I prefer this one over the bread man, the little agitator or the kneader that, uh, the blade that kneads the bread, and this one is uh, removable for cleaning. This one is not. Now you may think that's a good thing, but the problem is when you're cooking bread in this, the actual little blade will get stuck in the bread and you actually have to dig that out once the bread is completed. So it's a little bit more of a pain. And unfortunately that also means two or three of the slices of bread are usually have a big hole in the middle. Whereas with this one, I can just move the little screw on the bottom, it'll release, and then the, br the blade stays in there, thus not damaging the bread. But they all both have their pluses. Again, this one being the fact it makes a two pound loaf, whereas this one only does a one pound. And I'm actually doing two different kinds of bread today. Uh, this one in here, I'm doing the uh, honey oat bread, which is absolutely delicious. This is one of my favorites. I use this for uh, lunch sandwiches. Sometimes I'll even make a sausage, egg, and cheese um, sandwich with this. And you can see the little bits of oat in there. You can see it like right there for my camera will focus. Yep, little pieces of oat. This one is basically honey, oats, flour, oil, water, and a um, little bit of salt and sugar. And that is about it. One of the most simple recipes I've ever used to make bread. And this one over here, this one is my raisin, cinnamon raisin bread. Now, normally I would put cinnamon here, but dad wanted me to try it without. So basically this is cinnamon raisin bread without the cinnamon. So it's basically just like a white bread with raisins in it but um, this one has a little bit of sugar this one actually requires shortening which is not one of my favorite things because shortening is basically lard and is not the greatest for you but again because this has no preservatives in it this bread is still infinitely better than what you can find in the store and I do need to keep these shut because basically the way bread makers work um, they'll knead the dough for about an hour. You can see each of these has about an hour and a half. Of, this one has an hour and 55 minutes. This one has two hours and four minutes. Basically, once it kneads it, it gives that time so the bread can rise. And during that time, it'll actually uh, turn the element. Uh, in these, if you look down here, you can see there's actually an element right down there that goes all around the bread. Um, uh, what do I call this, the bread pan here. And basically that will come on during the period where it rises to give it a little bit more humidity and, and give that yeast a chance to activate and rise the bread. And then about 30 minutes before the bread is to be done, the element turns on all the way and actually bakes the bread. So tonight we're going to have some absolutely delicious bread and I will try to get a picture of these uh, once they're done. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and we'll see what the rest of the day brings. I will talk to you in a little bit. <laughs> So I came down to check on this one. Can you see the problem here? Yeah, OMG, that is really, 
expanded a lot more than I expected. And the funny part is, I didn't use any extra ingredients, so I guess the uh, measurement is a little wrong. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just going to open this up every few minutes and make sure it doesn't totally stick to the top because it's not going to cook right if it does. But still got another 40 minutes on there. We'll see what happens. I can feel the element on, so got to keep an eye on that one. This one, however, if you can look in here, is actually doing just fine. This is exactly where I want it to be. For some reason, this one rises too much, and this one doesn't rise enough, and I'm using the right amount of ingredients for both, so I guess it just depends. I think what happens with the bread man, the uh, element turns on a little bit earlier than it does on the well-built, so I think that's why it actually... Uh rises more on this one but you know what this one's gonna be a trial and error because like i said i hardly ever use this machine i haven't used this machine in about two years i just thought you guys would get a kick out of that the bread the the dough has just ri risen so much i just gotta keep an eye on that all right i'll talk to all you right, a little bit later six minutes left Ooh, steaming up a little bit there as you can see the bread is still to the very tippy top it's starting to get all real hot at the top so it's getting these little water bubbles this one over here has about 15 minutes left, and this one's looking really good. I'm very impressed with the way that came out. First time I've actually had it go right up to the top like that. A lot of times it doesn't rise that much. So like I said before, I must have got my hands on a really good batch of yeast. Well, let these go for a few more minutes, and I will show you guys what the finished product look like. looks like. Probably about 10 minutes from now, but with the magic of video editing, it'll be almost instant right, tubers with quite a bit of effort. I got this one out, and it looks like it came out pretty good, though. I'm probably going to have to cut this top portion off because I really didn't cook all the way through. But I still got quite a few loaves here, and it cooked just about the way I wanted it to. So I'd say this was a semi-success with that bread maker. Man, you can see how big that loaf is. Like I said, this part is kind of doughy, so I'm going to kind of cut this part off. Maybe just save it for the birds or something. But the rest of this cooked just fine. Got a few more minutes left on this one, but I'll go ahead and just show this to you really quick. This one came out beautifully. That's exactly what I want to see. So I think from now on, I am going to use this bread maker, the well-built, more than the bread man, because I just seem to have better luck with this. Well, that's going to be it for the vlog today. Like I said, I'm fighting a cold, so I don't want to overexert myself. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.